So, you want to know about the design for the new Fantastic Four uh, Winnebago? Um, I wasn't really happy with the first one, and Matt said he was going to blow it up, and that I would be happy to hear that because I could design a new one. And so he did, and I, I have. The way I went at designing it was I wanted something, well, for my sake, easy to draw and sleek looking, um, which sometimes goes hand in hand. The, the fewer parts popping off it in different directions, the easier it is to draw and, and the sleeker it is. So I played around with some designs and I looked at some, actually I did look at some spaceships and things like that and tried to get some ideas. Um, it's funny when you don't design things like this all the time and it's been a while since I designed a vehicle or something like that. It, it, it takes a while to get yourself back into it. It's like doing scientific machinery, you know, made up machinery. You're like, how did I used to draw that stuff? And what's an interesting way of doing that? Yeah. So I did finally settle on one and just kind of tweaked it out. And, um, I like the aerodynamics of it and the fact that it's sort of open in the center. I tried to put the crew quarters towards the top and. I keep having in the back of my head the, the spaceship from Lost in Space. You know, they could just stand around and, and you could see them from all angles and it wasn't really like a cockpit, cockpit idea. I think I was pretty successful. 